Hi, I'm editor Leslie Nordier, and this is your headlines with the North Coast Courier. On our front page this week, Belito business boomed over the festive season, with occupancy rates of more than 80% recorded in both Durban and the Alembe district. At Belito Junction, the highest foot count was over 68,000 people on Christmas Eve, with people rushing in to do their last minute shopping. On page two, unsubstantiated claims of collusion to prevent the opening of more veterinary practices on the North Coast without the approval of the South African Veterinary Council are not true, say local vets. This amid a countrywide shortage of vets, and particularly on the North Coast, which has led to the shutdown of the emergency service offered on the North Coast. On page four, reporter James Anderson examines a dangerous parasite which is silently killing pets at an alarming rate. Cases of Spiroceria lupi are seen weekly by local vets, which say the parasite causes esophageal cancer in dogs. The detection of early cases of S. lupi remain a challenge due to the non-specific clinical symptoms. Vets say the best thing to do is prevention by regularly deworming your dogs with specified dewormers. On page 12, we join Belito navigator Ryan Bland on his 12-stage Dakar rally in Saudi Arabia, which is on the go until January 14. With 150 teams vying for a place on the podium, Ryan and his driving partner, Daniel Schroeder, are up against tough competition in this epic journey. Other stories to look out for include the resurrection of the Tongat Mall, which famously collapsed in 2013, killing two people and injuring 29. Also, the birth of a new civic organization in the Kwadakusa Residence Forum. You can follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram for daily breaking news.